All right, welcome to Friday Flow. We'll sip a coffee here. My name is Ellen. We have a 50 minute class today and we're gonna start with our bone roller. Hope you are having a good week so far and if you aren't, well, at least it's Friday. So um, do a quick inventory of your body, see how you're feeling. We're gonna start with some stretches on our foam roller and if you don't have this, you can um, roll up a towel or use a couple pillows and lay them out. I'm gonna just tilt my screen a little bit so you can see me on the floor. And this is how we're going to start. So you're gonna go ahead and sit right on the edge of that foam roller. Okay, keep those feet nice and wide. So you have nice, uh, strong stability. And this very gently, you're gonna lower down onto that roller or pillows or um, towel, whatever you have here. Our rolled up towel works really nicely. You just wanna make sure that your head is supported, your head and your neck. So we'll start with our upper body. For now, we're just gonna keep our feet on the floor about hip distance so you have a nice um, base of stability. And we're gonna raise those arms up. This will also help to warm up our core a little bit because you might feel a little unsteady if you're on that foam roller. So palms are facing in. We're gonna take an inhale here. As we exhale, once you open up those arms and drop the back of the hands onto the floor as if you're making the letter T. Starting to feel those shoulders open. Let's do that again. Inhale, bring those palms together and exhale, you're gonna open. Inhale up and exhale. So I'm gonna get a couple stretches on this foam roller before we really get into our flow this morning. We're gonna practice some more balance. So continue with your arms here. Last week we did tree pose because the first day of spring was last Saturday. We're gonna practice another balance pose today. So we just really wanna make sure we open up our shoulders and our hips before we start to get into that. So one more, and let's hold this last one here. You might already, you might already feel that stretch. That's okay, a little uncomfortable. Continue to breathe. Allow gravity just to push down and open up your shoulders here. It's almost like a doorway stretch, but a little bit deeper. And take one more breath here. And then slowly bring those arms back up. So you can do another round of um, that, or if you want a little bit more of a stretch, you're gonna make the letter Y instead. So we're going to turn our palms down and lower our arms to our sides instead as we inhale. Exhale, this time your arms reach overhead. You open them up slightly to make the letter Y. Try to allow the back of the hands to touch the floor behind you. And then just repeat that. So this is a little bit harder, especially if your shoulders are feeling extra tight this morning. So just take this nice and slow. Inhale. Trying to reach the back of the floor and maybe just a fin couple fingertips touch. The goal is to get your back of your hand nice and flat. So a couple more, either making that Y or your T position, right? This will be a little less intense. And if it's a little bit uncomfortable, that's okay. You're doing it right. You should feel a slight pull with the stretch. So on your last one, just hold it there. Allow gravity to push down. Now, of course, if you feel any pain or if it really doesn't feel good at all, just switch up your, your direction or switch up your, um, your stretch here. Move your arms out to the side instead of overhead. Ooh, I definitely feel this one. One more breath here. And very slowly bring those arms up. Bring your hands to prayer. Take them down your chest. And then crisscross your arms, giving yourself a nice hug here. This part should feel good. All right, so now onto our hips and then we'll move off our foam roller. So to keep us steady, um, 
face here, your arms are down by your side, and you have your palms onto the floor. So with the hips, what we do is essentially just extend our legs straight out. I'm actually gonna slide back a little bit so I have room for that. So go ahead and just extend your legs straight out for me. And keep your feet wide, because if you keep your feet wide, that's gonna give you a little more balance. You might find that you're a little wobbly once your legs straighten out. So I just need to give myself enough room. I'm just gonna slide up and show you how that looks so I don't kick my bench. All right, so legs extend. So legs again, nice and wide if you want a little more balance, a little more stability if you want a little less stability and maybe you want to warm up your core even more, you can bring your legs closer together. Just make sure you keep your arms down so you don't roll off. So just for a few more breaths, and if this is super uncomfortable, for that low back, you can bend one knee and just start with one leg extended and then switch into the other side. So you can just focus on one leg at a time. And if you're doing one leg, you can go ahead and switch. And of course, you can do this stretch flat on the floor. It's just that when we're slightly elevated on a roller or a pillow or towel, we just get a little bit deeper into that stretch. All right, if you want the full version, keep those legs extended and reach your arms overhead. So now we're sort of making the letter X, right? So if you want that full version, just for a couple breaths, Hold it here, stretching out the entire front side of our body. A little bit uncomfortable, just breathe through it. You can do this. Deep breaths. We'll try one more breath. Allow those muscles to relax as much as they can. All right, then very slowly you can start with maybe your arms, slide them back into place, and then very gently start to bend those knees. Maybe moving your hips a little bit to the side, bend the knees, place your feet back on the floor. Take a moment to sort of reset here, and then we're gonna just gently slide off that roller. So slide off, move it to the side, stay down on your back. All right, and then go ahead and hug those knees into your chest. And gently rock side to side, massaging your back. Making circles in one direction, so this should feel good on your spine, on your back. And then go ahead and switch. So circles in the other direction. And let's lower those feet down. We'll just find a quick bridge here while we're on our back before we um, come up to a tabletop. So feet are hip distance, knees are right on top, hands down, take an inhale here. Exhale, you're gonna just gently peel your spine off the floor, slowly lifting those hips up to the ceiling. Not too fast, just nice and easy here. And then inhale, slowly lower down. And exhale, lift up. And as you're doing these bridges, again, taking inventory, so how are you feeling this morning? Without any judgment, just in, right? After a long week of work and maybe workouts, Friday morning, good time to check in. What do you need this morning from this workout, from this practice? We'll be doing a little bit of everything, movement, stretch, core. So get to do it all. Let's do one more bridge and just hang out in this bridge for a couple of breaths. Really pressing those feet into the floor, getting that nice stretch in those hip flexors, warming up your glutes and your hamstrings. We will need those for later in some of our balance poses. One more breath. And last inhale, gently, gently lower down. Keep your feet planted where they're at, and show back for your knees. So just gently dropping them from side to side, allowing your hips and back to sort of move off the mat. So nice and easy here, but show back. 
And then you're going to gently roll over to one side. So our last stretch while we're down here. Once you come into a fetal position, this is going to get us into a rotation, okay? So a fetal position like you're a baby. You're all the way on your side. Your knees are bent there together. Your arms are straight out to the side, and your head is relaxing on the floor here, okay? Your top arm, whichever one it is, we'll do both sides. Inhale, you're going to reach that top arm. You're going to start to look over that shoulder for a spinal twist. Now here, you might not be able to get your hand to reach the floor. I know mine does not, but just continue to breathe. Inhale, let's close it back up. We're gonna do that three more times, okay? So inhale, exhale, I want you to open. Inhale, close, two more. Exhale. Now this is a little uncomfortable for your shoulder or your head. You can place that bottom hand behind your head, right? Or even a pillow. Last one here, we won't be here for too long. Last one, hold it, move over that shoulder. Keep those knees bent in the opposite direction that your arm is stretching. Spinal twist from the torso, from the shoulders. This will help in our triangle pose as well. So slowly come back to the center, all right? And be very mindful, you're just gonna flip over to the other side. All right, so I'm gonna actually swing my legs around to the other side just to continue to face you, but just very slowly make your way onto your back and just face the other side, okay? Very slowly, be mindful of your back. So same thing, fetal position, right? Knees are bent, you're on your side completely. Arms are straight, head down. Inhale, reach that arm overhead. Exhale, and then close it back up. So three more times for a total of four. So you're really twisting from your torso and your waist and not moving those hips. Inhale and exhale. And we'll do one more. And on that last one, you're gonna hold it for a couple of extra breaths. Take your gaze over that shoulder. Maybe notice that one side's a little tighter than the other. That's okay. And last breath takes us back to the starting position. So now you're gonna gently press yourself up. And we're gonna find a tabletop position. So nice and easy, tabletop. And while we're here, just sort of shifting your hip side to side, sitting back, sort of doing whatever stretch feels good for you here before we find an actual cat cow. Okay, so maybe you lower your hips a little bit like I'm doing, just nice and easy, getting out those kinks. And just one more breath, doing whatever stretch you'd like here. And then you're gonna meet me when you're done in a nice neutral spine in this tabletop. So hands right underneath those shoulders and knees underneath your hips. So as we inhale, let's just drop your belly to the mat, lift your head up. Exhale, pull that belly button up towards the ceiling, rounding your back, dropping that chin to your chest. And again, inhale, press the belly into the mat, bend your elbows slightly. So you're getting sort of deeper into the floor for this part, and then exhale, sort of pushing away from the floor. And go ahead and cycle through that three more times for me. I'm just going to come up to the screen, check on you. You can also make this your own, maybe moving your hips a little extra. So three more times, nice cat-cow, really exaggerating that movement to warm up the back. Great. One more beautiful, lovely group on this morning. Thanks for joining. All right, now we find a nice child's pose. So knees wide, feet together, big inhale, big exhale, sets us back into those heels. We walk our hands to the top of our mat. Lower our forehead to the floor. So you can always come here during class for a little breather. And then while we're here at child's pose, just lower to one forearm at a time, sort of adding a little twist and just going from side to side. Just a gentle little twist in your 
child's pose, just moving side to side here, nice and easy. All right, let's go ahead and come up to that tabletop and we're gonna lower down to our chest and our belly, nice and easy. So we're gonna find a baby cobra stretch. I want you to bring those legs nice and wide, slightly wider than your um, hips. Keep your toes flat. We're gonna take those hands right under our shoulders, nose to the mat, and as you inhale, gently press into the floor, pull your elbows down and back and lift your chest up as you inhale. And then exhale, slowly come back down. Let's try that again. Inhale, press those hands into the floor, press your elbows down and back, lift up, chest lifts, and then exhale, lower. So one more time, inhale, we lift, squeeze your shoulder blades together, drop those elbows down, shoulders down, chest lifts, and then exhale, perfect. Now go ahead and extend those arms, and let's just squeeze your shoulder blades together and try to bring your palms together, okay? So you can start here, maybe you can interlace your fingers, all right, go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together. So as we inhale, we're gonna lift, and we're gonna hold this for eight, seven, six. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four, maybe interlace those hands. Two, and one, relax. Turn your head to the right. Relax for a moment, we're gonna do it one more time. Hold this here, just relax your cheek and your ear onto the mat and then slowly come back up to the center. Okay, let's do it one more time. So inhale, just lifting that upper body. I want you to really reach those arms down by your side, lengthen through your fingertips, pull those shoulders away from your ears, lift up a little bit higher, and then hold it for eight, seven, continue to breathe, just hold your pose. Five, four, maybe interlacing those fingers, two, and one, relax and turn your head now to the other side. Allow the shoulders to roll forward. Take one more breath. All right, go ahead and tuck those toes. Hands under your shoulders. Let's get ready to go right up into a downward facing dog. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, make your way up to your downward facing dog. And go ahead and pedal up those heels. Relax your head here, nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Maybe lifting up onto the balls of the feet and pressing down through your heels. Hold your down dog. Again, finding whatever little extra stretch movement you need this morning to sort of get those kinks out, right? So down dog. I'm just getting my block set up. So hold your down dog for a few more breaths. And of course, this down dog can be supported with knees on the floor. So you can still be pushing those hips back, right? All right, one more breath in this down dog this morning. And then inhale, we're gonna come forward into our strong plank position. So stacking those shoulders right on top of your wrists. You wanna close up your rib cage just a little bit here. And then exhale, knees come down. Hips and chest, lower at the same time, right? So lower at the same time, keep your back flat, elbows back. Untuck those toes, inhale, we lift with that baby cobra, and then exhale, re the toes. Down dog, come on up. Hold your down dog. Smooth my bench so I don't hit my face into it. So let's do that two more times to get nice and warm. Inhale, float it to your plank. Press through your heels, head is up. Exhale, knees and chest. Nice flat back. Glue your arms to your rib cage. Flatten your toes. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Exhale, retuck the toes, down and back. Down dog. Hold that there. I'm gonna watch the last round, okay? So building some heat, go as fast or slow as you want, all right? Inhale forward to your plank. Let's see it. Stack those shoulders. Tuck those hips under a little bit. Nice. Exhale, lower knees. 
and chest, shoulders back, neck long, perfect. Flatten those feet, inhale, lift up baby cobra, perfect. And then exhale, retuck those toes, down dog. Keeping that core nice and strong the whole time. Nice, good chuck, perfect, nice strong core. Think of stitching up your rib cage, or if you've done Pilates before, very similar. So keeping that core nice and strong. Stitching up that rib cage, two more breaths in your down dog. Those are beautiful, good job. One more breath. Okay, next inhale, you're gonna really bend those knees. And I want you to exhale, walk or hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Take your time. Let's find a nice forward fold. Of course, using your blocks here, as well if you'd like, or pillows. If you can't quite reach your hands nice and flat to the floor, bring the floor to meet you. One more breath in this forward fold. Inhale, brings us up to standing nice and tall, reaching those arms. Exhale, we're gonna bring our palms together and lower down. Let's continue to build our heat, all right? And then get into balance. So inhale, lift, exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Pull the shoulder blades together, just like in that cobra. And then exhale, let's lower. We'll step back with our right leg, warrior one, medium step. Glue your heel to the floor. Lift your chest, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hold. So holding this here for just a few more breaths. You wanna square off those hips towards the front. Back leg is straight. Inhale, let's straighten that leg. Exhale, let's allow those arms to float down. We're gonna go right into that triangle pose. So similar twist that we did on the floor in the beginning of class. It comes from the torso, right? So inhale, reach towards your front foot. Exhale, lower that hand and start to extend that back arm up as you twist, just like you did on the floor, from your torso and into your shoulders and chest. Stacking that hand right on top of your shoulder and maybe starting the hand on the hip. First time in triangle, hold this here. It really should feel like that fetal pose position and that, that very same stretch that we did on the floor. Imagine you're squished between two walls. One more breath here. Strong core. Inhale, press into that back foot. And then exhale, let's cartwheel those hands down. You're going to lower that back knee to the floor. We're going to come into a low lunge. You can keep that back toe tucked or you can flatten it. Your choice. Inhale, lift the chest. Arms up. Exhale, hold. So now we're also, our first round, we're going a little bit faster than normal. Because I know you all are ready for it. But you can always take it down a notch if you'd like. Hold this here. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a twist. This is a little bit different. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to first find cactus. So draw, just draw those elbows down. Cactus, all right? Take an inhale, reach those arms back up. This time add a twist with your cactus. So if you have your left leg in front, you're gonna twist over your left shoulder. So twist and add that cactus. Ooh, it's a little bit harder with that twist. Let's try it again. Inhale, come back to the front. Exhale, twist over. That left shoulder or whichever leg is in front. Draw those elbows down. One more time, inhale. And exhale, hold it right here. Extra challenge, you can take that back hand and reach it towards your heel on the floor and maybe add a reach up and over. So that's a lot more challenging. Just show an option if you like it. You can just stay right in cactus. One more breath. Inhale back to the center. Woo, exhale, take those hands down. Quite a twist there. Let's go ahead and tuck that back toe, come to down dog. We'll try it on the other side, okay? Down dog. Inhale forward to that nice strong plank. Exhale, knees and chest. Inhale, lift baby cobra. Again, listen to your body, tuck those toes. Exhale, down dog. Hold it right there, couple of breaths. Down dog or child's pose. Two more, we'll try the same sequence on the other side. And again, this is just about practicing, right? Just practicing some of these movements together. They don't have to be perfect. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, walk, hop, or jump. 
forward fold. We're going to keep that heat building. So inhale brings those arms up to standing. Exhale, palms come together. We lower down. And let's do the other side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float it down. Remember, strong core the whole time. The whole time, especially with those twists. Inhale, halfway lift. Really imagine you're wearing a tight belt around that waist. And then exhale, it's probably the best verbal cue I can give. Or visual cue. All right, go ahead and step back, left foot. Warrior one, glue that heel, lift your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hold. So hold this right here. So another little cue that you can do, you place your hands on your rib cage, right? You don't, want, you don't want them to be open. I want you to sort of stitch them in, okay? So try to get those fingers close in. So you take a big breath and then exhale. You should feel that rib cage stick and stitch together. That's how I want your core to be. Nice and strong. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, release the arms. Let's get ready for that triangle pose, okay? Inhale, reach towards that front foot. And then exhale, slowly make your way into that triangle pose. You can start with hand on your hip. And then once you're ready, you just extend that top arm. Stacking it on top of your shoulder. Imagine you're falling back into a wall to really open. Or imagine you're in that fetal position, right? That twist that we did. Keep breathing. Push into that back foot as much as your front. Keep twisting. Look up at your hand. One more breath. Inhale, push into that back foot. Nice and slow. Ooh, exhale, let's cartwheel those hands down. Take them on either side of your foot here, and let's lower down to that back knee. You can flatten your foot or keep it tucked. I like to flatten it. Lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, hold, low lunge. Hold this here. So in this position is where we sometimes tend to feel that back. So I really want you to tighten up your core here. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. We're going to try that twist. Okay? So inhale, reach up. Exhale, just bend your elbows and find your cactus. So cactus is like this, like a goal post. Okay? So if you now have your right leg in front, you will be twisting over your right shoulder. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, let's twist over that side. And as you do it, try to drop our elbows back to the cactus. Ooh, this side's a little harder for me. My shoulders are tight. Inhale, come back to the center. Let's try it again. Just two more times. Exhale, twist. And you can try to twist without the cactus. Right? One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. I'm going to try without the cactus. And just take my hands to my thighs and work on that twist. One more breath here in this twist. Nice. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, take those hands down. Great job. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Lift up and back. Down dog. You can go through the sequence again, or at any time, just take a break and come back to that child's pose. Inhale forward to your plank. You can also do a full chaturanga. Exhale lower. Challenge your core and upper body without lowering those knees to the floor. And then inhale, baby cobra, or work your way to upper facing dog. Exhale, hold your down dog. Just be mindful those movements can be harder on the back. So two more breaths, we'll come back to the other side. Inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, walk or jump your feet to the front. Forward fold. Inhale, brings us to standing. Palms come together and exhale. So quick little check-in. How's everyone doing so far? Thumbs up, we're cool. Okay, awesome. So grab a quick, this would be a good time to grab a sip of water. If there is something that didn't really feel good on your body, take it down a notch, right? If you're starting to feel really good, take it up a notch. All right, here we go. We're gonna repeat that. Add on a couple things. So inhale, lift, exhale. This is your workout, so always adjust it to however you see fit. Inhale, lift up. I'm here to lead you along the way, right? And exhale, lower. Step back, right leg. Warrior one, inhale, lift, exhale, hold. Core strong the whole time. And inhale, straighten that leg a little faster. Exhale, arms lower, triangle pose. So inhale, reach towards that front foot, and exhale, lower. 
as that top arm either comes to your hip or extends all the way up in that fullest version of triangle. Getting warmer, hopefully getting into those poses a little bit deeper, okay? Hold this here or hand at your hip. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. One more breath, a lot of core here. Inhale, push into that back foot. Exhale, let's open right up to warrior two. So open up that right hip and then get a little bit lower. Warrior two. So your front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Much wider stance here. Inhale, reach those arms up and exhale down. Two more, inhale up and exhale. Last one, inhale up and exhale. Find your lowest point. Make sure to put weight into your back pinky toe, not just your front. So we're gonna do something a little bit different here. Hold your warrior two, take your arms up, but keep that warrior two, keep that bend in your front knee, okay? Inhale, a little side bend towards your front leg. Exhale, come back up. So we're really working the core here, okay? Nice and slow, do it again. Inhale, little side bend, exhale. One more time. Inhale, now hold right here. Lower this front arm to your front thigh and extend that top arm a little bit longer. So now we're in extended side angle, right? So we got into it just from a warrior two and adding that side bend. Maybe you slide that bottom hand a little lower. Press a little more into your back leg. Keep reaching one more breath. Inhale, come up. Nice, exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Take them down. Let's lower down to our knee once more. You can keep that toe tucked or flatten it. I'm just grabbing my blocks. Pull this here. We're in this low lunge. Okay, we're going to try to twist again. So lift up. Inhale. Exhale, find your cactus. So inhale, what I want you to do first is bring your elbows in. Lean forward a little bit. And then exhale, I want you to open up. Two more times here. Inhale. Switching it up and exhale. So sort of challenging your balance here as your gaze goes down. Inhale, gaze goes up on that exhale. Keep that core nice and strong, perfect. Now, inhale, reach those arms. Exhale, here comes our twist. With or without cactus. So I'm gonna show you without cactus. I'm just taking my hands on my thigh here and adding a little twist. Two more, inhale back to center and then exhale. Cactus, twisting over whatever your front leg, whatever leg is in front. One more, inhale, and exhale. Hold this last one. I'm just gonna show you how it looks from my side. Hold it, so just like that. Okay, if you want the extra challenge, take that back arm down, reach for your heel, and extend your front arm up. This is a big twist, though. Be careful of your back. It's just an option. One more breath. Come back to the center, inhale. Excellent, exhale, hands down. Awesome job. Retuck, step back, down dog. Woo, good job everybody. Inhale forward, high plank or child's pose. Exhale, knees and chest, right? Inhale, lift. Exhale, retuck the toes. Down and back, down dog or child's pose. Two breaths, same thing, adding on some of those extra layers on the other side. My heart rate's up. <laughs> One more breath. Bend those knees. Inhale, exhale, walk, hop, or jump, forward fold. Great stretch for the back here. Inhale, brings us up to standing. Exhale, palms come together, we lower. All right, same thing, other side, here we go. Inhale, and exhale. Then we get into our balance pose. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, lower. Step that left foot back. Warrior one. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, hold. So we're gonna be nice and warm, core nice and strong for our, our upcoming balance pose. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, lower those arms. Triangle pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Flow right into your triangle pose, taking your time. Stacking that hand right on top of your wrist. 
Hips are pushing back in the opposite direction of your front leg. Hold this here, keep the core engaged the whole time. One more breath, very nice. Inhale, push back into that leg. Exhale, come on up. So let's go right into, big step back into our warrior two. So inhale, open up from that left hip, step back. Exhale, arms come out. Perfect, so leg is nice and straight here. Inhale, we're gonna straighten that leg, arms come up, and exhale. Two more, inhale up, and exhale. Nice wide stance, one more time. Inhale, nice and strong. Exhale, hold, perfect. Good, good, I can see you, Kishwar. Perfect, good, Diane, nice strong form here. So, legs don't move here. Keep your hips and legs right where they're at. Instead, just reach those arms back up. Okay, twist and face towards the front here and not towards your, okay. Inhale, a little side bend, reaching towards your front leg. Exhale, come back up. Let's do it two more times without moving your hips. Inhale, almost like you're bringing your ribcage to your hip. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, and then exhale, lower that front arm. So it's just gently resting on that top thigh. Exhale, extend with that top arm a little more. Drop your hips. Extended side angle, right? We we'll want our core to do a lot of the work. We don't want to put all of our weight on that front leg, right? So lift away from that. Lift your chest. I know this one's tricky. Maybe slide that hand down. Just two more breaths for me. Lift that chest. And then inhale, come back. Woo! Awesome. Exhale, let's cut with those hands down. Now we bring those hips to face forward. Lower our back knee onto the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hold. Low lunge. Cactus in just a moment. Inhale here, exhale. Pull those elbows down for cactus. Inhale, we fold it forward. We bring our elbows together. And exhale, we lift it back. Maybe a little arch. Maybe you lift your head up. So really challenging your balance. Two more. Inhale, elbows in. Exhale, we lift. Be mindful of your back. Pull those elbows one more time. Inhale, also really warming up those legs. Exhale, hold. Okay, back to that neutral spine. Inhale up, exhale, twisting over your front leg. Maybe come into cactus. I'm gonna show with just my hands on the side. Two more times, inhale back up, and exhale, twist. Either hands down or fighting a cactus. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, we're gonna hold on to this cactus. Hold up, I'm just gonna show you how it looks. Twisting over that front leg in that cactus. Oh, this one's a little harder. Extra challenge, you drop back your back arm and you reach that front arm over. We're sort of like a peaceful warrior, but that's a lot harder. So one more breath. Woo, inhale, twist back to the center, arms extend, exhale, down. Awesome job, go ahead and step it on back. Down dog, inhale forward, exhale, knees and chest, lower. Inhale, we lift, or child's pose, of course. Exhale, down dog. Hold it right there. Hold your down dog, because we're gonna go into our balance pose a little bit differently right from our down dog, okay? So take a quick breather, stay in your down dog or child's pose. Hold it here. Now go ahead and bring those feet together. And on your next inhale, you're going to gently lift your left leg off the floor. Lift it up, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend that knee and place it in between your hands. All right, hold this here. We're just going to come right into a high lunge. So inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hold. We were in low lunge before. Knee is off the floor. We're in high lunge. So we're going to go into our three-legged balance or warrior three. Bring your palms together. Down at heart center. Pull your shoulders down and back first. Take an inhale. Lean forward like we do the cactus. Exhale, you're going to push up that back foot. So you can watch first. I'll do it a couple times. I'm pushing off that foot, and then I'm actually lifting away from the floor. I'm going to do it again. I'm here on this lunge. I lean forward. I push off and actually lift. Okay? So go ahead and try that. And then balance on that left leg for a couple of breaths. 
Keep your hands at prayer. Try to straighten that back leg and hold it there for a couple breaths. So rather than sinking into the floor, we're lifting away. Feel free to use the wall, it's really helpful. Hold this here. If you want an extra challenge, you can point your toe and then maybe start to stack your hips and try to find a half moon. But that's a lot more advanced. So if you've done that before, you can try it. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about, just stay here in your balance. It doesn't matter how high that leg is. Standing leg is slightly bent. Whew. One more breath, tuck those hips under a little bit more for me. Strong core. Inhale, step it back to that high lunge. Okay, hold this lunge, last challenge before the other side. Inhale, arms up, exhale, twist to the cactus. So now we're doing it in a high lunge. Two more times and I'll face you. Inhale, reach up, exhale, twist. Whatever foot is in front, you're twisting over that side. Last time, inhale and exhale. So maybe just hands down here and you're just working on that twist. Hold it for a few breaths. Try the cactus, lower that back arm, reach that front arm, extra challenge. One more breath, come back to your cactus, inhale nice and tall, arms back to the front, exhale, hands down, step back, down dog. Woo, good job, down dog. Hold this for a few breaths because we're going right into the other side, so take a quick little child's pose breather, and then when you're ready, come back and meet me in down dog. And when you're there, bring those feet together. Your right leg lifts up. Inhale, float it off the floor. Squeeze those glutes. Exhale, bend the knee. Press that foot in between your hands. High lunge. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, hands come together into prayer. Same thing, other side. If you want to watch one more time, I lean forward, inhale. Exhale, I take a few steps, pushing up my back foot, and then I actually lift. So I lift up rather than falling forward, right? Lift up. Use your wall, use your dresser, hold it for a couple breaths. I'm gonna come check it out this time, hold it. And if you fall out of it, get back into it because we're practicing balance together. Nice, Kishwar, beautiful. Good, Diane. Little extra challenge where we point your toe. Maybe start to stack those hips. Good, Chuck. You can try to maybe open up to half moon. That front arm just drops to the floor. Talk on lifts up like triangle. If you want to try that, this half moon, hold it. Obviously a little bit harder. Maybe extend those arms by your side and warrior three, you got it. Let's try about two more breaths. Perfect. Good, Mary Beth, perfect. Last breath, you can do it. Tuck those hips under and step it back, inhale. Not quite done, right? So last piece of work. Inhale, high lunge, exhale, twist into that cactus. I'm going to show you from this side. Two more times. And don't force the movement. Inhale, exhale. Notice I really can't twist much on this side. That's okay. Inhale, last time. Exhale, twist. Maybe hands on the leg, right? Hold it here. I'm actually going to do this side on my knee. This is a little bit harder for me. Maybe you take that back arm down, reach for your heel and reach up and over with your front arm, like Peaceful Warrior. Maybe you stay right here, one more breath. Inhale, back to center, exhale, slowly hands down. Awesome job, down dog. So you can go through your flow on the floor one more time, or just find a nice child pose. Take your time. When you're done, everyone find a nice child pose. And let's do it with our knees together. Child's pose, knees together, so we get a little bit more of that stretch concentrated in our low back. Using your blocks, maybe, for your forehead. You can even sit on your block. Inhale, walking those hands over to the left diagonal. Side body stretch. Inhale, back to center, exhale over to the left. Nice stretch here. Back to the center, inhale, and then exhale. Woo! All right, how are we doing? Thumbs up, we're good. We're just gonna finish with some stretching, okay?
okay? Because we did a lot of twists, a lot of core, not like your traditional crunches uh, type of core, but you're definitely going to be feeling your core from a lot of those poses and twists that we did. So let's stretch out our back. Let's make it feel good. So very slowly come down onto that back. Nice and easy. So sort of like what we did in the very beginning, you're going to hug those knees into your chest. We have just a couple minutes left here. Gently rock side to side. And then go ahead and make big circles in one direction. So you're massaging that back into the floor. Go ahead and reverse those circles. So other direction. Now bring your knees to your chest. So this time our circles, we're gonna actually open the knees out to the side like a butterfly for watching my screen, and then exhale, they close back up and come to the chest. So actually make circles with your knees, opening them both out to the side. So we're getting into those hips, right? Almost like a, a butterfly. And then you're gonna reverse those circles as well. So go down first, circle, come up to the chest, right? All right, let's lower those feet down. We're actually gonna come into a really traditional hamstring stretch, okay? You're gonna extend your um, left leg up first and keep your right foot on the floor. Go ahead and just reach for that leg. And I want you to keep your head down. We're not gonna strain our neck to get that leg a little closer. Just reach to wherever you can. Circle that ankle, wiggle your toes. Keep that back flat. Take one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, can you bring that leg an inch closer? Keep your shoulders down. A little bit uncomfortable, that's okay. Slight bend in that knee and then go ahead and release. And let's do the other side. So I'm just really focusing on hips and hamstrings because I know a lot of us have low back pain and sometimes it's really just due to tight hamstrings and hips. So I just wanna do really basic stretch for them. Our right leg is up and our left foot is flat on the floor. Okay. You're only going to extend that bottom leg straight if you have that flexibility. Because what happens is your back arches. So keep your foot on the floor so you keep your back flat. Shoulders down. And circle that ankle. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, draw that in maybe an inch closer. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. Not painful, but a little bit uncomfortable. Breathe here. And then go ahead and take it down. Awesome job. Let's finish with happy baby, because of course, why not? Feels really good on our back. So lift the feet up, knees out, reach for those feet, sides of the feet and your toes, and then extend those legs up. You can keep them bent or you can find a straddle. And you're just gonna jump your rock side to side, sort of massaging your back into the floor here. And when you're ready, just gently lower those feet down. And you can just find a nice relaxation pose. If you really like to do an, an inversion at the end of your practice, feel free to find a bridge. Maybe support it with your pillow, or you could do legs up the wall um, or a wheelbarrow. If not, you're just going to relax for this final minute of class. Find something that's comfortable for you. Close your eyes. Maybe you're back on your foam roller. Maybe you're just stretching for this last minute. Honestly, it is up to you. I like to do windshield wiper of my legs here. Start to slowly move your head from side to side. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. If you are flat on your back, go ahead and gently start to draw your knees into your chest. Good. 
If you're in a inversion, just slowly make your way onto your back and hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side, roll over to your favorite side, just like that fetal position we started with, hang out here for a moment. And then when you're ready, gently press yourself up. And you're gonna find a comfy seated position. Inhale, just shrug those shoulders up. And then exhale, just let that go. Let's do that one more time. So big inhale, shrug the shoulders. Loud, audible exhale, just let it go. All right, inhale, reach those arms up. Palms come together, exhale, lower down. Close your eyes. Thank yourself for making the time for you this morning and for joining one another for this practice, this workout. And we will then open our eyes and say namaste to one another. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, please feel free to drop a comment in the chat box. Let me know how you're feeling. Happy Friday. Happy wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for coming.